Hello everyone. Uh, let's wait for a few more seconds so others can join in as well. Okay. Hello again. I am Josephine Sneha, currently an editor come reviewer in an online journal and I am also a PhD research scholar in English language and literature. So in this session, I am going to review one of my favorite books titled The Undomestic Goddess by Sophie Kinsella. So before getting into the review, let me give a brief introduction about the author that is about Sophie Kinsella. So she is an English writer who has written for more than two decades. So her shopaholic series which revolves around the central character called Rebecca Bloomhood or Becky Bloomhood became an instant success in the year which was published that is around 2000. But this novel, it is her second standalone novel which was published in the year 2005. So now let's get into the story. So the protagonist of the story is Samantha. So Samantha is a lawyer who is working in London. So often she feels and she herself confesses that she is a workaholic. So not just her but everybody working in her firm feels that they are working 24 bar, 24 bar 7 but then they do it without complaining. So as I told she is often feeling very low alone because she does not have any friends and the only family member she converses with is her mother and brother and even both of them they are interested only in their in her professional life so nobody is concerned about her personal life so she's very alone and aloof but she pacifies herself saying that her hard work will be rewarded someday yes it is true so she's actually waiting eagerly for her partnership in the same firm she is working so when the big day arrives, so she's waiting for this partnership slash promotion. So that is when she realizes that she has committed a huge mistake. So this mistake can actually destroy her career which she has built for a very long time. So as I told earlier, she does not have any friends or family member or even a co-worker to speak with. So unable to process what is happening. So she doesn't know what to do. She doesn't inform anybody in the office. Instead, she walks out of the office building. So nearby there is a railway station. So she boats the train and decides to go wherever the train takes her. So even while going, uh, she is in oscillation thinking whether she should go back to her office and inform what is wrong or should she go wherever the train goes. So at that time, she gets a call from a guy. So she actually has a crush on this guy who is in his office. So in her office, so this guy actually calls and uh, she decides to check what was happening and this guy states that there is a very big chance that she might not just lose the partnership but also she might be terminated. So this once again is a huge block for her to handle so she throws away the mobile and decides to go wherever the train takes. So finally the train stops and she gets down and she sees that it is a very remote place uh, which is far away from London. So she promises herself that she'll clear her mind first and then she'll go back to London. So she actually goes to search a job because she needs to survive there. So for getting directions, she searches every place. So there is a big mansion and they actually mistakes her to be a person who has come to join as a full-time housekeeper. I mean, just imagine she's a graduate from Cambridge. So she also takes up the job because she wants a bit of relaxation. So she takes up the job as a housekeeper. So initially it is all a laughter riot only. So she struggles with the washing machine. She doesn't know how the washing machine works, how the kitchen equipment works, doesn't know to fold clothes, doesn't know to do anything, a simple thing in the household works. I mean, no offense. It, it is not that only women are supposed to do it, but she can actually now ponder upon herself and she realizes that uh, she never took care of herself. I mean, she lives in a very luxurious apartment. 
but she has never cooked for her she has never cleaned her house never did her laundry because she was always in the thought that instead of doing all these work she can actually send an email or work on another project and make her company earn much more than they are earning now so now she is able to see what she was missing and so she started learning everything so not just learning these but also she made few friends there so there is nathaniel so uh, nathaniel's mother is the person who actually helps her and teaches her all about cooking cleaning and washing so i don't want to spoil the story for you so grab this book to know whether samantha will stay in the new place where she has found happiness or will she go back to her old place where her dream job and the dream guy is waiting for her so now let's move on to the review so the plot development in the story is absolutely interesting i mean one can even say that it is a noteworthy signature of sophie kinsella that uh, she actually presents uh, the life of protagonist in a very perfect way initially so perfect apartment perfect job perfect life perfect crush so though it appears to uh, seems like that as we turn the pages we actually find that nothing seems perfect everything has a flaw so her job is not for perfect she is always anxious she is so stressed she doesn't even have time to take care of her only after going to this rural place she actually checks herself in the mirror so same for the guy so she actually likes this guy he also likes her but he was actually behind her position i mean she is in a very strong position and she might get partnership so when he actually reciprocates her feelings he might also get promotion so that is what his thought was so nobody was true to her true to her and that is what she finds that it is entirely a toxic atmosphere and uh, talking about the characters so the characters are very limited but uh, there are no extras as well because the limited characters they have a very special role to play in order to take the plot forward so even the house owners who actually hires her as a housekeeper so they also play a pivotal role if you ask me because they actually make her understand that not every job or every uh, work culture needs to be toxic because uh, they even actually though they give her the salary they even organize birthday parties for her out of their own money out of their pocket whereas the corporate side where she was working they were not even ready to forgive her for her mistake so instead she actually checks the website and finds out so her past achievements will be listed in the website so they were all erased they were completely erased there was no trace that samantha was actually working in the uh, in the firm so this shows the cruel side of the corporate life but whereas here the owners they actually made seem that uh, it was a completely like a home atmosphere so even though she was a worker they never treated her as a worker and also her friends talking about her friends relationship everything so it made her realize that what is important in life and also the character nathaniel so nathaniel here is not simply placed for romantic interest instead he also has his own storyline if you ask me so storyline as such we see that um he has his own uh, confusion and chaos so he is dangling between two things so he has a passion to follow uh, but then his passion requires to travel away from his home country but then he has a uh, family business to run so he is often in dilemma so samantha identifies it and she has a one to one conversation with him where he where she says that nathaniel is very lucky to try his passion because even if it didn't work or even if it results in failure he can always come back so there is a family waiting his friends are waiting and not just that his family business also has a backup unlike samantha because she has nobody there and that is how she tried her best and now she is very much stronger so every character has a role to play and also they are all a voice of reason for samantha not just samantha but also to us so finally this novel actually propagates a message that chick literature should not be omitted as a light read because we can see traces of feminism as well instead of showing samantha as a damsel in distress who simply waits for a prince to come her and say she of course cries she is uncomfortable with the situation she feels very low but immediately she gets up and then she's ready to face the battle of course you will see it when you read it what happens she goes back to the firm and there are a lot of things happening it is very interesting also so with that i would like to conclude my review and uh, before signing off 
I would like to thank my secret bookshelf for giving me this opportunity. Also, don't forget to visit the website of my secret bookshelf because they have got huge collection of titles written by Indian authors. Not just that, they also offer signed copies and also they even give gift traps in case you want to gift it to your loved ones. So make use of the coupon that is ASH20 for 20% discount also. And the thing is, this is valid only till January 31st of 2021. So hurry up. Last but not least, do not consider this as an end. Soon we'll meet in some other review session. That's it. Thank you. Bye.